So in this video, I want to talk through how one reel that I had on my Instagram account that went viral has got me over 2000 new Instagram followers and nearly 2000 new email subscribers as well. But I do want to state first off that the numbers that I've just mentioned are very much surface numbers. I did also end up making just under 700 pounds from this reel as well. But in this video, I wanted to talk about not only how I achieved this, but also why there's a lot more to these numbers than meets the eye and why it might not all actually be as glamorous as it seems. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Anna. I am a designer and online educator at byrosanna.co.uk. And here on YouTube, I share videos about business, freelancing, productivity, marketing, and all that good stuff. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're there. So first of all, I wanted to show you the actual reel that I'm talking about to give you some context. So as you can see, this reel is really short and sweet. I'm going to play it again just in case you missed it. But I want to first talk about what the goal was for me creating this reel. One thing that I always like to drum home when you're creating any kind of content is there needs to be a goal and a purpose behind it that's actually going to benefit your business in some way. Because content, even that short reel that I just played, takes time to put together. That still took me at least half an hour to make sure that the takes were right, that what I was filming was looking good, that I was adding the text, I was finding the right audio for it. So it still all takes time and anything that you're doing like that, you want to make sure that you're getting a return on the time that you're investing in it. So my goal for this reel was that I wanted people to sign up to my content planning masterclass. It's a free 60 minute masterclass that I have. I'll leave a link to it below if you're keen on watching it but I wanted people to go from watching the reel reading the caption and then from there going to the link in my bio to go and sign up for this masterclass it's a lot of steps involved but I think the reel that I created piqued enough curiosity for people to read the caption which then outlined that the solution to their problem was to go and watch this free masterclass which ended up in having a lot of people going and signing up for it so why was that my goal? Why was I trying to get loads of people sign up for a free masterclass? Technically, I'm not getting any money from them doing that. However, what I am getting is their email address, which is really valuable in itself. And I've got loads of videos here on YouTube about growing and building an email list for your business. But the main reason why I want people to go and watch that free masterclass is because on the same page where you can watch the video for this masterclass, I also have lots of information. And in the video, I also talk about my paid course bundle called the Content Marketing Collection. So in the video, I give a really in-depth tutorial on how I plan out my content. And then at the end, I explain if you want to learn how to actually create the content, here's my content marketing collection, my bundle of courses, this is how much it is, and giving them a discount. And then while they're actually on the page watching the video, there's also lots of information about that bundle and a discount as well. So when people sign up to watch this masterclass, not only am I getting their email address, but I'm also potentially getting them as customers as well, because they might then buy my product. What also happens automatically is once they've signed up for the masterclass, they get a few emails reminding them to watch the masterclass and sending them the link, but they also then get a couple of emails saying, oh, and by the way, this discount is expiring. Go ahead and buy this content marketing collection bundle now if you want to learn how to create content. And what all of this is called is a marketing funnel. So you get people viewing my content on Instagram at the top of the funnel, then they go down and they become an email subscriber in the middle of the funnel. And then at the very end, my ultimate goal is for them to become a customer by going from an email subscriber to someone who has purchased my content marketing collection bundle. So that was the ultimate goal of the reel that people who would watch it would go and sign up for the free masterclass and then become customers. And did this work? Yes, it did. I did make some sales, which I'm going to talk through in just a minute. But why did this reel work? Why was it this particular one that went viral and brought me some really good results? First thing is that it did have a strategy and a goal behind it, like I've just said. 
but also that it was super, super relevant to my target audience. And so when people watch the reel, they can then go onto my profile and see that I share very, very similar stuff. And so they definitely know whether they're going to actually be interested in what I have to offer as well. Versus when people create reels or content that is very general, if someone were to then go on your profile and have a look around your content, they might find that those two things don't match up and so they're less likely to follow you or go and become a subscriber. So that helped a lot. I also used a trending audio so you can see on the platform when an audio that people are using is actually very popular and trending and it's really good to use those. I talk much more about this in my intentional Instagram Reels online course but basically it's a good thing to use trending audios. And lastly it was very simple and I used a hook at the beginning that was very relatable, a question that a lot of people can relate to. Are you struggling with knowing what to post? Um, that hooked people in and then I showed them basically the solution, which was my content bank Trello board. Just the look of that piqued enough interest that people then opened my caption and I had written more about that solution and the link to my free masterclass in the caption, which is also really important. So results wise, as I said, I got just over 2000 followers on Instagram just from this reel. Obviously other reels and content that I've been creating could have fed into this as well, but I can kind of tell because the views of that particular reel and the growth in following definitely coincide. I also got around 1,700 new email subscribers within about a 10 day period from this, from people signing up to the free masterclass. And in total, I made three sales of my content marketing collection bundle on a discounted price, which is 225 pounds each which equals £675. And again, I am attributing those sales to this reel because of how it's coincided. But what do these results actually mean? Are those good results? Are those okay results? First thing I want to touch on is that more followers on Instagram does not equal a more engaged audience full of people who are definitely going to buy from you or sign up to your email list. I am hoping that they are mostly the right people who have now followed me because my reel was so targeted and relevant to that target audience. I'm hoping that most of them are the type of people that I do want to be following me and that will be engaging with me, but only time will really tell. Sometimes you can experience high growth from a piece of content that goes viral, only to find later down the line that you start losing those followers again because they weren't actually the right people and they weren't actually interested in your content or all of your content, just that one piece. Also, more email subscribers does not equal more paying customers either. Yes, it might give you a higher chance, but they might not actually be interested in receiving my weekly emails. They may receive them and not read them, which makes my engagement go down for my email newsletter. And they're probably a lot more likely to unsubscribe when I start to promote things in my emails as well, because they signed up for something that was free. Very common for people who sign up when you're offering a freebie like I was to then unsubscribe later down the line because they're only in it for the free stuff. Only time will really tell these things so I just need to keep an eye on my engagement now to make sure it's not going down too much, make sure I'm cleansing my email list and things like that. I've got another video all about that. So in terms of the sales that I made, obviously it's lovely that I made sales technically automatically without having to do anything other than um, create that reel. However, typically what I found in the past with this free masterclass and then the discount that I'm offering on this bundle is my conversion rate for this was around 1%. So typically around 1% of people that watched the masterclass would then convert into a paying customer would actually buy the bundle. And if that conversion rate had stayed the same for this whole viral reel, situation, that technically would have meant that I should have got around 17 sales rather than just the three that I did get. So why is it that my conversion rate might not have been performing as well as it has been in the past? There are a few reasons for this, I believe. One is I noticed that a lot of my new subscribers that I got from this reel were actually from places like Delhi or Mumbai. I think Instagram is pushing reels a lot to people over there at the moment and that is fine because at the end of the day my products are digital. Anyone from across the world can actually access them. I can also work with people in terms of my services from across the world. But there is a big but and that is the language barrier. I did have a few comments on this reel saying that these people weren't sure if they would be able to understand my tutorial. And so even if they did make it all the way through the free masterclass, the free tutorial, those people might not want to then buy a paid course in a language that isn't actually their first language. So that might have put a lot of people off purchasing. It might have meant that a lot of people didn't watch all the way through the masterclass either. 
It doesn't look like there's a whole lot that I could have done about that though, other than um, just double checking any hashtags that I was using, making sure that all of the content in there was based around people who were English speaking. I think it has just come down to Instagram's algorithm and distribution at the end of the day. But this again is another reason why I need to keep a very close eye on my engagement because it might be that a lot of people followed me because of that reel. But then as I start to post more, they might realize that all the content isn't in their first language and so might not be as desirable. So overall, yes, I'm really happy with the results, but I wanted to break all of that down and why I'm still hesitant about um, calling this a success because there's still so many unanswered questions. Will my engagement go down? Will these followers stick around? Will these new subscribers actually like my email content? And I think it's really important that everyone, if you do have a situation like this yourself where you've got a lot of results or followers overnight, you do take the time to break down and work out what went right, but what you potentially need to keep an eye on moving forward because it doesn't just mean you've got overnight success there's a lot more under the surface to it than that. So I hope you found this helpful. As I said, I do go into how to create strategic reels in a lot more detail in my intentional Instagram reels online course. So if you are interested in learning more, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back again next week with another video. Bye.